love how you can hear okay, it well, outside. It's so cool. I'm so excited! <gasps> Alright, Ben competed against himself. <laughs> Lucky man. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday Songwriting. Number 250. Ocho. Number 258. Hey guys. So, ah, uh, okay. We, he, 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 he oriented us, orientationed us about what's going on tonight. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't know why. I have to get my makeup on. I have about half an hour. I go on about eight. I don't have to put makeup on, but I want to. I'll feel a little better about the camera. I could put makeup on while I talk to you, but I'm not gonna do that. You can already go to my makeup tutorial for that. But how am I gonna get all these people to be in my song? I'm so nervous, like, I, like, cause I have this vision of like, of course, some, the impossible. All of us getting on stage and singing the song at the end. So everyone feels included, whether they win or lose. So what are my chances? That's like, I just have to like start teaching it one by one and maybe getting people to talk on camera. What somebody's but this is crazy, like I have this like primal fear. I'm like, what is it like? Like, like primal trauma? Like when I was an egg and it was like my turn to go down the fallopian tube. Was I like, oh my god, here we go. Am I gonna get fertilized or not? Sorry, people keep looking in. Sunday, S U N D A Y, songwriting. What? A A T F E Y. What? <laughs> New York! <laughs> I was in New York for two years. I count. No, Sunday. I you hear my song accent? Writing. A A A T. Wait. But I am alive. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. I can talk to. <laughs> oh. Tripping. He's tripping on A A T F P. Going to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are going to practice. We're gonna do a song on the grand piano, which I'm nervous about, because I really like playing the ukulele. I don't know where Scribbles is, I left him in the car. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I love how it was in orientation, how he said, the judges are judging your song. They're not judging you how pretty you are, how not pretty you are, how old you are, how young you are. Hey, don't go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, well, actually you can, but... I need, I need you back here at 7.15. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Oh, but seriously, that's always how I feel in these competitions. I feel like they're not... I'm not pretty one. And it's funny he didn't say handsome, how handsome you are. Because it's a thing that women go through, you know? Basically, this is how it works. See those two names on the left? One person gets written to the right of them. Whichever one wins, they go on to the next round. Okay, I've got an hour. I don't know, you showing me up made me less nervous. <laughs> I don't know, it's like feeling judged. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I just really want to win, I guess? You come and you go. Although maybe it's like just, uh, I'm gonna play 440, which I'm not used to. I'm playing a grand piano. Oh, I'm so excited about that. But it's 440, I want 432 hearts. I'll, I'll come and find you. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, they're battling. Blue. I need my own pink 432 hearts grand piano one day. <laughs> This is messed up. 
messed up. Well, everyone, Val just came here with the camera, by the way. I'm not talking to myself anymore. Turn up, oh, someone better. You think eggs freak out every time they go down the fallopian tube? Like, oh my god, I know this is my chance. Or is it just like, wee, we're going back in another ride on the other side? You know, like when you play take turns when you're a kid and you go down the slide? Anyway. <laughs> Val wants no part of this. She's just being quiet. <laughs> this is my warm up routine. I really want to go to my car and get scribbles. I left him there. If only somebody could listen to me. Always. So, seriously, though, I think these fluorescent lights, like, this is what messes me up. Seriously, like the EMF. Like, I was not hitting the high notes. Just put that shit. It's an emergency. I gotta admit, I kind of like it when I win, and if I win money, oh, gee, I could use it. 16 years of age, and she's worked with people like Glenn Ballard, who, of course, uh, wrote Man in the Mirror for Michael Jackson. Is a starving artist who spends all her time in dying on her art and struggles to pay rent and food bills in less pain than the pop idol who goes so far as to entertain the masses that they have to starve themselves of their humanity? I can't even- Okay, so Val asked me what song I was going to sing and what my gut was saying about it, and I think it just made me more, more nervous and worked out. My gut doesn't know! I just asked. I don't know what song to play. How do I know what song to play? I just go by... I don't know. One of my mentors suggested I do Painted Truth because it, he thinks it's one of my best songs and I have a really good music video about it and my CD is called Painted Truth. So I could say, hey, this is the title song of the first CD I recorded. Sure, you know. But is that like sound like I'm too big a fan? Don't want any work. Like I have a CD on me. Is that like... It's not the flying bowl. Her music and her art take many forms. Aviva and the Flying Penguins, the project that anchored her commitment to performing, touring, and recording. Their ventures in music and art activism keep her inspired while she's constantly busy producing new songs and adventures every Sunday on her YouTube channel, like we have a YouTube channel. Aviva Sings Out is the name of her channel, with hundreds of songs registered with BMI and streamable on Bandcamp. Aviva and the Flying Penguins are set for a 2020 release of their long-awaited second studio album, Key of You, recorded in the 432 Hertz and featuring the already released single with its very own line, dance, choreography, Colorado in July. This is Viva, Aviva, Aviva, Aviva and the Flying Penguins. That's just Alright, let's turn it over. This is Aviva of Aviva and the Flying Penguins. <laughs> Okay, literally, I didn't win. I should have done the ukulele. 
maybe not. Maybe the people needed to feel that because I'm a physician. Maybe there was one person in the audience that needed to hear that song and it moved them. I was crying by the end of it. And then they clapped before I finished crying. Anyway, I don't think one judge voted for me. <laughs> you did well, though. Aww. I feel so stupid. I hate contests. But you know what? We're going to get these people to sing this song. But wait, y'all. That means now I can focus all my attention on the song. Oh, there's no justification. It's luck. It's luck. It's whatever people... It's just like flipping a coin. Well, that's what I said. If you would have talked in the beginning more... Because they talked a lot. They did like a little skit kind of thing. Um, I skit. I was too nervous. I felt like but I had they, to go fast. They did fast. a whole thing about how they were married and how they were stubborn, whatever, right? You, and it played into the song, but if you could have talked a little bit more, they could have seen it. So just... Maybe, it? maybe. Maybe the emotional one. I just felt too shy. I feel like you were, you're more yourself and outgoing when you're not playing an audience that's going to judge you. Oh my god! It's like, brings up all these primal feelings, like, put the lion down. And plus, it's like, if I wouldn't have met the people playing after me, I would have felt so weird. Like, like I met them right before. You don't know this about me, I'm always shy. I actually am quite shy inside. I just act like I'm not. Except for when you're performing. What do you all think? Should I have chosen a different song? Did I just do a bad performance? You can watch the live stream linked below and decide for yourselves. We just gonna keep giving each other love. I'm mad at myself. You did win. I'm a failure. No, you're not. I'm a failure. Shut up. <laughs> no, you're not. I felt that song, though. Do you think anyone else felt it? Did you feel it? Mm -hmm. Did you feel sad? It was, it was sad. Maybe that's why. Maybe it should have been a happy song. That's why I wanted to do Eye to Eye. Mm -hmm. I should have done the ukulele song first and then melted their hearts later. Mm -hmm. Maybe they need the money more. Maybe something else is going to come in. Maybe the night that they're gonna like. <laughs> what night? I don't know. I could have had a belly dance gig tonight. I've got friends. <laughs> Me and friends. I can talk to. But wait, should we even say lost? Would it be more correct to say, okay, I guess in this game he lost, but we could also say the person he played against instead of focusing on the loser aspect. Ugh. Uh, that brings out how we're not meant to play against each other. We're meant to play for each other. I'm Tyler Jarvis from Atlanta, Georgia. We're both losers. I mean, <laughs> we're winners. <laughs> <laughs> because we're in this video. <laughs> Who else has this video to go home with? It's worth $3,000. What does that mean? <laughs> you sounded so amazing. She came and took my camera. And I like wanted to film you like as she was taking it, and I was I like, might, I might, "Did you catch her?" I, might, I definitely got photos. I was like, oh, "You see this woman sitting?" I got photos. So she spoke a lot also before she sang. Yeah, I uh -huh. talked way too much. No, 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 a lot of people. I'm sorry. Was that bossy? I'll probably. It's try fine. To, like, let me try to play with you because is, I don't have a ton of time. The, thing, the other thing is, if you have any ideas and you want to change something, I'm totally open to it. Okay, that's what's about. Okay. G minor. Okay. Uh, there's no way I follow you. No way. Okay. <laughs> you can just like hum or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got it? It's filming? Alright, here we go. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> I thought she won. I thought she won the whole thing. $1,000 already. Yeah! $1,000 <laughs> Amber went on with Avery, and Avery went on to her. You know what? I feel like my songs just plop out. <laughs> Mine don't come out here. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, but like that performing was like a birth. That yeah. was painful. It is. But it yours is. just you, that was painful for you. That no, seemed to just I just out. birth it. I just I put my foot my feet up on the stirrups and then I'm like. <laughs> so when did you start writing music? Oh, and say who you are. I'm Amber Fultz from Chattanooga, oh Tennessee. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so you driving home? Yes. My family's coming for Thanksgiving tomorrow, <laughs> so oh, I've got to clean tonight. Okay. Woo! -hoo! 
So you started like a few years ago? <laughs> no, I'm 34. <laughs> so yeah, I started like 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah. After high school. After high school. Yeah. Five years after <laughs> high school. <laughs> oh, what inspired that? That's like unusual, isn't it? What? To start to like start. after high school? I don't know. I broke my ankle. Oh my god. I broke my ankle and I slipped on my guitar like a weirdo. Oh. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm gonna run songs now. So. Oh my god. I yeah. seriously love it. I love Love your music so much. I definitely need you to give me links so we can link it below in the video. Do it. Because it was so freaking gorgeous. Do you have a recording of what you sang tonight? Yes. I want to buy it. It's upstairs. Okay. Awesome. For (laughs) sale. Great. Great. We'll go up there. We'll merch each other. (laughs) (laughs) Merch it up. Yeah. Okay. We know what you meant. (laughs) So we're just learning this right now, but we want to get the process. You know, obviously I'm going to edit it like crazy. You just want me to run it and not stop it at all? Yeah, yeah. Even though it's a big file? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Every oh, musician yeah. is a physician, channeling truth, so emotions, visions, in a position like a politician. So you want to just try and do that together? Maybe yeah, harmonize a little bit? Okay. We'll okay. Do it a few times. Yeah. In a position like a politician. <laughs> <laughs> or should we practice it again? I'm used to her by now. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> I have to draw them. No. <laughs> no. I'm like putting it off. <laughs> we have to do this part. Okay. Every musician. Because I'm going to try to get more flowers in the garden to come with us. Flowers in the garden. Let's do what? Uh, Okay. Start with you. Ah, Okay, cool. (laughs) (laughs) What? How do you feel about tonight? Oh my god. Okay, uh, I'm angry and I'm excited. It's cool to be back in Atlanta. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from here, but I. Nashville or Nashville? Nashville. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. How do you feel about tonight? I didn't even, I haven't kept track. Are you, are you uh, in the next round? I am. I'm in like, that's, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm going This is your third round now? Oh my god, no. no I've, I've been like three rounds. Oh. Um, so I'm excited. Yay. Yeah. Congratulations. Who are you? Hi. Oh my god, is this a room full of winners? Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, everyone else went home. They're like done. I know, everyone's like, I'm out. I'm surrounded by winners. Hi, I'm Dolby, I'm 13. Yeah, I'm in the next round. Oh man! I am. Okay, I can't wait to see your performances. Everyone's performances is live streamed and linked below, y'all. I can't wait to watch them. Awesome. The judges are gonna watch and they're gonna be like, why do you choose them? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, no. right, you're so right. They're gonna be like, that's Like, man, yeah. their first song was amazing, but like, we should ask that. Out there. Real talk, does society need to change up how artists are glorified in contests? How we are programmed to enter our talents in contests since an early age? Does it block our natural ability to share a gift of musical healing with the world? Or does it make us better? Thank you. Um, Mr. Ben said, how are you here tonight, by any chance? Mr. Ben's idea, and um, he's a brilliant director, and uh, I'd love to work with him again. It was a lot of fun. I just um, somehow wish that uh, shows like this could be less about competition and more about acknowledgement and acceptance and celebration of our artistic differences. So maybe someday you will. Thanks a lot. But yeah, I mean, basically the song is about you know, how we are all physicians. Like we are actually, we should be paid like doctors. <laughs> yes! Like, oh no, my God. seriously, like <laughs> people's nice. heartstrings are stuck. And that's what that line is, you know. Reading the melodies from stuck heartstrings. So like when you all are singing with people, like the reason why they're clapping is because they're like, an emotion just freed up. Yeah. Oh, it was just like it was stuck inside me for almost how long? Like since I was one. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Yes. So what do you want to do? Do you want to try to sing that? Yeah. Okay, so I'll start with the rest. Ready? Ready? We are all living the dream. Five, 
Yes. Ah, oh, she's up. What we are wearing. Hi. <laughs> Hi. My name is Scribbles. Say your name again. Scribbles. Scribbles. Okay. We were just wondering what it was like tonight for you. Oh my gosh. So I was one of the judges, and that was um, really stressful because everybody was so good. So. What's your name? My name's Amanda. That sounds like a really hard position to be in. It was. Did you vote for her? Oh, I don't remember. Nobody voted for me. It was unanimously against me, although, honestly, I didn't see all the numbers. No, it's Actually, so, it's I, so subjective, though. Everybody was so good. How do you feel? I'm, I'm working on drunk. <laughs> Did you have fun tonight? Yeah, it was a ball. Yeah, you had fun? All the other judges said they hated it. Oh, really? I'm, but I'm very judgmental. <laughs> oh, you I'm judged too? Judgmental. You were the judge too? I didn't realize. It was hard to see the judges from up there. So you loved it. I liked it. Do you like not voting for me? What's that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you vote for me? He only left the station once. Oh, maybe that was when you left. Actually, yeah, maybe it was. I don't remember. But this is, is this your first time judging? Uh, yeah, officially. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. Avery, yeah. shall we say, got the liking of right. the judges. Meredith yeah. is going Here we home. are, lounging so out. Avery and Melody. This is what happens, y'all. It's a famous musician. We got some fancy stuff going on here. Don't you play music? I do. I do. I play guitar and ukulele, too. So, did you ever win? No. <laughs> do you judge yourself for that? Yes. <gasps> I know! I know! It doesn't, it doesn't matter! It doesn't matter in the long but run. But why do you think it matters? Oh, I guess wanting approval from other people matters. You know, I'm going to edit stuff, but I'm cool. just going to talk to you about what's going on here. All right. Basically, do you know zombie movies? I do. Okay, I'm not a big fan. But <laughs> um, I, I had this idea as I'm writing a song. It kind of started because I was like, oh, I hate competition. And then like the melody came to me, it's not a cunt, it's not a test. And then when I said it's not a test, like for some reason, like it came to me, it's an emergency. And it's like the emergency is that like everyone needs us so badly. It's like we need to like get into the streets. So instead of like zombies, it's like all musicians being like, we're here to help you, you know. We're here for you. Like, we're not gonna kill you. We actually have emotion. You yeah. know, like, that's what zombies represent to me, like, people without emotion. It's true. I'm trying to get, like, everyone here to, like, at least, like, lip sync one word, so, like, a music video cool. about tonight. All right. 
So you can sing with me. Now this is in 432 hertz. Okay. So you'd have to tune down, or maybe, do you already play in 432 hertz? Uh, no, know. are you, you're in, is that the actual tuning or no? So it's, this is like a melody, but it's the chords are written up top, but I have a tuner that would tune down, but I don't want to mess you up because you're about no, to no, get on. Go ahead and, and play it and I'll figure it out. Okay. So that's like a G minor. A lot of uh, ideas here, repetition, you keep giving. No, like a religion, uh, like no. So yeah. it's like everything is a little bit flatter. So it's like I have an actual tuner for that would tune you down. Or you can just play everything flat. Where did my tuner go? It was on there. Yeah, see it's, oh here it is. See, but I don't want to mess you up because you're about, you're a winner. How, how do you feel about tonight? Great. You having fun? Yeah. Is that the actual? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 432. I'm not here to, to win. I'm here to be around mm -hmm. for it, you know? Yeah. That's, uh... Well, think, you're, you might. You're, you're getting yeah. close. Yeah. How many rounds have you won? Just one. But the, the this night is pretty spectacular because of Eddie, you know? Yeah. Did you have fun tonight? I had a great time. After Lane kicked his butt in round one. Yay! 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 Next round. Seriously though, are we stuck in some survival of the fittest mentality? Is this struggle a natural part of life? Or is it a man-made struggle and contrary to our soul we just simply express? Do you assume you're yeah, play through, play through like a uh, part, and we'll see what I can do. It's not a contest, it's not a test. It's an expression of our best and opportunity. It's lunacy to lose. <laughs> the winner lives. <laughs> narrowing down the competition. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice song. Yeah. Right here last year, right? He yeah. is. Yeah. How old's Pop? Every musician is a physician, channeling truths of emotion, vision. I guess you can answer some of the questions we ask in this video by looking at pop music. What need does mainstream music fulfill in us? What ideas and messages does it feed us? And what about spiritual music? When we sing in churches, temples, ear tones, how is that different? And what needs does that fulfill? And what ideas and messages does this feed us? Is there an in-between? Is singer-songwriter entertainment just that? Does it fulfill a need to hear each other's stories? Everybody is extremely talented here at Eddie Owens Presents for the uh, Songwriter Shootout. It's an incredible night. Um, people here are amazing. Uh, just amazing humans. And, uh, you feel the love. You know a lot of people here, huh? Um, I know some. Um, but uh, like the girl who played Dolby, mm -hmm. I know her. Oh, really? The 13-year-old? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I played with her when I came uh, in back. here on tour. And, um, and her father and her were awesome. And, uh, at 13, She's gonna kill him. And Jason and Dolby are about to hit the stage together. First, we get to see my one and only battling Adam and Lane battling Mike. Avery's got her game face on. They get battle melody. And I tore with some time. So. Oh, these folks. Oh, they They're about to play. These two. A little dark here, but here we're interviewing. Who are you? I'm Nathan Evans Fox. He won last year's! Hey. And you were nice enough to come back and judge during Thanksgiving. Yeah, I love Eddie Owens. Aww. And I love this place. I got a question. How was it to Um, It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, really? I've, I've done hard things, but like... You didn't vote for me. <laughs> it's okay. <I'll> <laughs> there were so many times I was like, can I just like flip a coin? And, like, You're right, that's what I keep telling everyone. Like, I go, it's a flip of a coin, don't feel bad. Like it's... 
like I was I was talking to my seven year old nephew at Thanksgiving yesterday. Yeah. He's like he's like we're having a drawing competition. I'm like it's art. It's not a competition. Yes. And it's literally just like I don't I don't know. Somebody's just got to go next. <laughs> Storytelling around the fire has been one of the earliest and most enriching activities in humankind we may ever know. Is social media allowing the common folk to sit next to pop idols around the fire? Competitions make people feel unloved and I don't really like them. Well, how do people find your music? Uh, Spotify, Facebook, Instagram. I have a cute dog, Nathan so I always tell everyone to go like Instagram. She's a true mutt. It's Nathan Evans Fox, but it should be Nathan oh. and Al. Well, you heard yeah. what I was saying tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I was crying up there. Yeah. Like, if you're not just trying to, like, yeah. work out all your shit in public, what are you going to do it in life? Exactly. Yeah. Beep, beep. Hit the streets with other musicians. It's time for an apocalypse. <laughs> So let me know in the comments below if I ask the judges all the questions that you would have asked them. And if not, then ask them in the comments below. And I'll shoot them an email or maybe they'll see it. Because I want to know what you want to know. Like, what were you judging? What were you listening for? I didn't really go into depth. Is there a way to bring the place of a musician in society to a more balanced place? What would you suggest? Are people spending all their money on an idea that also happens to be entertaining? Is this entertainment at the expense of how musicians are thriving in our society? When supporting local arts, could they be enriching their lives as well, even more, and inspiring themselves to be more in touch with their humanity? Does who is the best really matter? Why encourage people to be an American Idol? We were thinking that it's kind of like people's obsession with war. Like the other day, we were having dinner with someone and they said they saw something and they're like, yeah, it wasn't fun because there was no winner. Like at least sports, someone wins. And it's like, oh, that's the mainstream. That's not okay. People think war is necessary. No. Give peace a chance, man. It's not okay to, to look at life like winners and losers. Like, we just need to take care of each other. Seriously, I feel like crap right now because I have just been playing for tips and I've made no tips. And like, it's hard to get out of your head like, okay, am I just freaking wasting my time? Everyone really is great. Like, if they had a full set, I'm sure would, I would enjoy it. If it wasn't a competition, I wouldn't even think about who's better than you. Yeah, I just yeah. like everyone's great and you're doing what you do and like, I don't know. I just want to be there for your art. Wasting my time? It's just really nice to get validation and it's confusing when you don't. validation you need. It's like playing just music. It's like, do people value it? I mean, here I am two days in a row just playing for tips. I don't have my money for rent. Why am I doing this if I'm not making money at it? Why did I turn down two pay gigs to do this open mic shootout? It's just...
song. I'm just going to play you a few lines. Stop this and she's still. Like a politician, every musician has our own mission. We can all listen. There's no omission. In a position, like a politician. In a position, like a politician. This is okay. Let me just do it without trying to put that in. Every musician is a magician, channeling truth, emotions, visions. That's such a good idea. Say it again. Clinician or physician. Instead of magician. Every musician is a clinician. Or every musician is a physician. I like physician because it almost sounds like physicist also. And it goes with your pharmacy of frequencies. Right. It's like a whole song in itself, doesn't it? Yes! Every musician is a physician. Channeling truths, emotions, vision. In a position like a politician. Needing donations and Petitions, draw competition, too many conditions, feeling omission, but nobody listens. This is not a test. <laughs> okay, so I like was so having such a hard time because I wanted to say having a mission, no omission, like don't omit us. But I couldn't fit it all in. And then I wanted to say like we all can listen. There's no omission to be more but it's kind of like negative, though, like in reality. You know? Like originally, okay, because originally it was every musician has our own mission. We can all listen, no omissions. But so yeah, I'm definitely feeling omission with nobody listening. So that line was good. I just feel like I disappointed you all because I didn't even make it past the first round. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'll do better. I will work harder. And I feel like I've disappointed you all by not having kids. You ready? <sighs> I'm praying. I'm, I'm praying more and more every day. Elohim Kibor. Atah Kibor, the Alam Adonai. Oh, great Almighty. Please give me the strength to carry out my mission. If you were watching the live stream, you would see that Melody went on to the final floor. Yeah, I hear you. Have a beautiful night. Oh, I thought you were going behind me. Watching final four. Them versus yeah, him. I went on to the final two. Who would he be up against? Now, what I didn't tell you earlier, I did tell you I got some really good news when I went up there and I spoke to Eddie, and guess what? He said I could perform my song at the end of the night. So that's what I'm going to do. Are all these beautiful performers and artists going to join me? Well, you got to keep watching to find out. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, then, and then we'll figure it out from there. I'm not here to, to win. I'm here to be around for it, you know?
<laughs> but <laughs> you can go to my YouTube channel and see almost everyone from tonight singing it, which I think is just so beautiful. The idea is that it's kind of like a zombie apocalypse, but it's like a musician apocalypse where we all hit the streets and we're like getting people to feel instead of scaring people. So that's the idea. So it would be perfect, actually, if like in a zombie apocalypse, people just started to come up on stage and join us. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> This is a 
and watch it. This is not a test. Oh, here we go, Sharon. Come on, Sharon. Unbelievable, wonderful thing you did, and I loved it. I think the line I liked the most was about the emergency, because my life is an emergency. I try to live today to be able to live tomorrow, and I try yeah. to live tomorrow yes. to be able to live the next day, so it's yes. one emergency after another. Same. I experienced this chaos and nature are hard to describe. There are no losers in this event. There are 20 winners. And um, they'll take something. They'll all take something a lot more valuable than a Ben Franklin with them. I promise you. They'll learn some things tonight, meet some folks that will be their best supporter and best friends for a long time. Which is that whole episode in itself is really what this is about. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I loved it. I loved it so much. Oh, we missed you up there. Well, you look very familiar. Well, I'm, I'm happy to have you in Nashville. Well, thank you. you Nashville's ever, happy to have you. Yeah. You were phenomenal. It was thank amazing. You. If you ever want to play somewhere. Yeah. Awesome, I will. Right. Thank Jason, you. we just want to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Are you so excited? <laughs> wow. I was not expecting a puppet at all. Oh, I'm not a puppet. I'm a real person. I'm like a real like thing. Like, all right. Well, nice I'm, to meet you. I'm That's a Viva's name. son. My name is Scribbles. All right. Sorry, I kind of think people already know me because I'm kind of famous on like, cool. in, in like a galactic way. <laughs> well, very nice to meet you. You too. You're the winner. Thank you. That, it was a hard fought night. Yeah. You know. You toughed it out. Yeah. Hey. Battled so, those demons. I did not want to battle anybody. We just playing music. You know. Exactly, and you sang that song with us. I was on stage too, you yeah. just didn't see me. Oh, okay. I was behind the music stand, I was hiding. Yeah, back, back in the 80s, you know, when they had these, the bigger the speakers, the better, and all the stuff. Jason was born. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for doing this. And he could pick up the microphone. He was in it. He would never let it go. And you let him. He hardly could talk, but he was singing uh, I did, I did. I was up against uh, Because all the music was playing through the speakers. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. 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 That was That's amazing. He grew up with music. He would just never let that. That was like me sitting at the piano. Like, I never wanted to leave it. Yeah. Yeah, you missed me. I was one of the first ones. Oh, you, you were the one playing the piano. Yes. Oh, I'm looking for a chance some stuff. Yeah, I was. I played that song, yeah. Painted Truth. Yes, yes, yes. You have a great voice. Thank you. I'm glad I got this on film. Wow. Oh, mommy, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a cigarette. Oh, thank you. That was, a, that was a winner right there. Thank you. Yeah, I, I wanted to perform song. it. That but was a Yeah, that was a lot of fun. You should have um, judged on that. I know. I was like thinking, like, wouldn't it be weird if they were just like, actually, let's just give $1,000 to the viewer. But <laughs> after all that. I need to get $1,050. Oh, giving me $50? I will take $50. Do I hear something you're talking about? Maybe. 1100 I need to check my ears. Yes, I hear it too. But back to you, Amanda. Yes. I'm sorry you were in tough, such a tough position and yeah. you didn't oh vote for my mommy. That's okay. <laughs> but you might have. We don't remember. Oh, number two. Don't give it up for They're my all one pooping. and only. They go Unanimously oh, against me. It was, tonight was a blur. It was so hard. It's really hard. Was Everybody it true? magic? Job. Probably. Well, that's I've why. I've cried a lot, I'll be honest. That's I've what our song was about. We want you to not have nightmares because the song can be medicine. Music is medicine. Yeah, that's what the song was about. Uh -huh. There's one line that says, You're no missing when nobody knows.
nicely. Mm -hmm. I remember that. That was that was a really good line. It was really honest. Really? Because honestly, like we changed that line like seven times. I'm glad we left it in. No, it's very honest. Just once. But I said own mission, and that rhymes with omission. Every musician is a magician, channeling truths, emotions, visions. Every musician has our own mission. We can all listen, no omissions. I think mm. everybody can identify with that. It's just that we want it to everyone to feel loved. And Well, let's sing the song so we feel better. Okay. Hold on, let me get the ukulele. It's a perfect line. I take meds and enjoy them better when I'm in the music. They're in the music. Oh, that's, that's an interesting way to say So, the moral of this story is to just keep singing your song and sing it all day long. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. I'm like, I don't know what a flower looks like. As long as you keep tooting. <laughs> you deserve the praise. No. Your own horn. And just in case some of you had the after show blues like me and you still need validating after this Sunday song, I chose two other Sunday songs that might cheer you up and be relatable. Number one, don't look for approval. Approval. And number two, full circle. Linked below. I guess wanting approval for other people matters. So would you all judge again if you got to? If he asked you to judge again, would you do it again? Well, he's gonna judge. Amanda, would you do it again? Maybe. He's gonna right? judge the next one because when you win one, you have oh, to. Oh, Jason! Judge. Yeah. Well, what if he's out of town? <laughs> no, he'll. No, I'm gonna, gonna be here for this. He'll wow. be here. That's oh, damn! For, for, for I thought it was gonna be online. It is. But, oh. the is so but the, we're gonna do the shootout live. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the shootout will be live. Oh, dang. Yeah. The interest yeah, will be online. The shootout, the shootout will be live. And Cause I will start to stumble and bumble because as the evening wears We love you. We, we love, love you. you. <laughs> See you next, next week. week. See you next week, y'all. We out. We out. Deuces. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me for this Sunday song story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And please subscribe. I would also like to thank all of my Patreon supporters. You know who you are. I could not have done this without all of your support. Thank you again. Have an amazing day, everyone, and I will see you next Sunday song. I competed in the shootout. All I got was this bag. A A T F P. Welcome to songwriting. Welcome to Sunday song. I'll see you around like a donut. Two, ready. Sunday. Oh, we're in different keys. Hold on. <laughs> Sunday. Okay, I got it. Sunday. Sunday. Now we're different keys again. I went to you and you went to me. Okay, stay where you are. Okay. Bye. So, I mean, vocally. Sunday. What do you Sunday. I thought you were gonna stick with the other one. Oh my god, it's getting hot in here. I know, I'm getting All right. stressed. <laughs> Sunday. Oh my god, it's even higher. S -U oh my god. Sunday. Sunday. Sun. <laughs> I just realized it. This is last year's winner and this year's winner. Sunday. 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 Sunday.
Let's do. All right. Make Kin not babies. I've been reading books. The friends species oh, yeah. across species, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. some shit. Fun guy. Sunday. And hemp. Songwriting. Ooh, hemp. A. All right. I'm so not cool. <laughs> Just run the reel and be on fleck is what came in my head at first. And be on fleck. I know it's be on fleek, but be on fleck is like the uncool way to say it. It's like going to the dollar store instead of a famous place. But like, honestly, that's what kind of my music is for. It's for the people. It's not just for like flexing fame and money. So I don't have to be cool. For all my hipster fans, which I'm sure there's not a lot of. Deal and just say deal the deck. It's like, it's really about luck, and I get all worked up, but it's really just a game, you know what I mean? This competition. Oh, it's no competition, it's a condition. That's why I wanted to include condition, because it's like, instead of saying it's a condition, like it's a helping conditions. Now you can converse with physician. This part didn't make it into the song. Maybe it needs to. I don't know. In a position like a politician, but feeling omission when nobody listens. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can wrap that. Wait. Yo. Every musician is a magician, channeling truths to those two visions. I don't know, I can't do it. No, a rap doesn't have to be fast. The music could actually be the fastness, and the words come out as your poetry. Okay. Yeah, so I would be curious for you to play some really cool music that sounds Okay, let's try that. Every musician is a magician, channeling truths, emotions, visions. No competition, it's a condition, needing donations and petitions. In a position, like a politician, feeling omission when nobody listens. Don't you think it's kind of strange that Jason Erie and Mike Kinnebro, their names are spelt wrong? They're the only ones, and they were the final two. What's up? Okay. Isn't it weird that the quote on the CD that I had the morning of the shootout says, Are not the flowers the stars of the earth? When I had just written the line, Flowers in the garden all strutting their stuff like we're all superstars. Cool coincidence, huh? Anyway. Okay, you just tell okay. me what to do. Just hold it. So on the way here, this is really cool. The sun was setting, and the GPS is like, we're right on Sunset Road. <laughs> Do you get it? Like, I passed the sunset. They're like, that's their comments. They're like, hey, whatever. I passed the sunset, and then I got to Sunset Road. Wouldn't that make you giggle? Or like, I was just like, you know, it depends on what you're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? You found the sunset. Like you're trying to... I think. I don't know. No, it is poetic. Are you still making a movie here? Are you still making a movie? I was just telling them, like, on the way here, I saw the most beautiful sunset as I got to Sunset Road. Isn't that cool? Like, all these little coincidences in life. Is, and, like, is true, I get to do this video with everyone, but I think I was the only performer tonight that unanimously got voted against. Is that true? Every single vote was for someone else. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it was, it was divided. 
I saw four for someone else. No, no, no. There, there's only one and two. There was only one and two. There was no four. If it, it was about the anyway. pull of my soul towards <laughs> songs and artists, it would not be unanimous. You know? Mom. Multiple it's attachments. <laughs> Alright, we'll look for that video. <laughs>